that is annular pancreas okay now what happens in annular pancreas is now we know that there is a ventral bud and a dorsal bud and there is a rotation and there is a fusion of the that the dorsal bud is coming here and it is fusing with the ventral bud to form the pancreas okay now what happens here is that there is a bilobed ventral pancreatic duct which rotate along the pancreas and leads to obstruction around the second part of the duodenum okay so you can see here that there is annular portion of pancreas okay so there is pancreas on uh, suppose if this is a du suppose if this is a duodenum what happens is there is pancreas here also and there is some portion of pancreas here also and the duodenum or the second part of duodenum compresses here in between the pancreas and which leads to a relative outflow obstruction and there is d2 obstruction because the pancreas rotates along the second portion of the duodenum and forms annulus or ring like constriction because pancreas forms a ring like constriction okay which is also a congenital anomaly here now pancreas is not mandatory like a complete ring or annulus of pancreas is not mandatory for the diagnosis but uh, annulus of the pancreatic duct is seen in all the cases okay so th the obstruction is mainly because of the pancreatic duct okay the pancreas is seen surrounding the duodenum in up to 70 to 80 percent of the cases but the duct is seen in all the cases okay so there is a bilobed ventral pancreatic duct okay and there is annular portion of the pancreas also which creates a d2 obstruction okay now this is d2 or papilla hair so there is pre ampullary obstruction okay So there is a preambulary obstruction. The significance of this preambulary obstruction is that the, there is bilious vomiting or non-bilious vomiting. Okay, so the bile is going through the bile duct into the ampulla and then it goes to the duodenum. If the obstruction is above, so there will be a non-bilious vomiting. Okay, so in annular pancreas there is a non-bilious vomiting. Okay. Now it is a congenital anomaly. There are certain other congenital anomalies also, and it is associated with Down syndrome and duodenal atresia. Okay, so it is associated with other congenital anomalies also. These anomalies are Down syndrome and duodenal atresia. Okay, now. This duodenal atresia, in duodenal atresia, the obstruction is generally after the ampulla, okay. That is also a D2 obstruction, but generally the obstruction is after the ampulla. So, duodenal atresia presents with bilious vomiting. Obstruction is after or below ampulla. So in duodenal atresia there is bilious vomiting. What is the investigation of choice for this? This is the investigation of choice for annular pancreas. Is ERCP. Okay. What we see in ERCP is a pancreatic duct which is rotating around the duodenum and is joining the main pancreatic duct. Okay, a pancreatic duct is rotating around duodenum and is joining. main pancreatic duct okay so this way we will be able to diagnose annular pancreas and what is the treatment 
the treatment is duodeno duodenostomy okay the treatment of choice is duodeno duodenostomy okay so so duodeno duodenostomy is the treatment of choice for annular pancreas and duodenal atresia okay and duodeno jejunostomy is the treatment of choice for sms syndrome or wilkie syndrome in which there is obstruction at the level of d3 okay because of sma there is obstruction at the level of d3 so duodeno duodenostomy is very difficult because here is dga flexure it is very difficult to anastomose and the treatment of choice in this case is duodeno jejunostomy okay so the treatment of choice for sma syndrome is duodeno jejunostomy okay so this is important to understand so this is regarding annular pancreas now these are the ct image and mri image of annular pancreas you can see here that this is the second part of duodenum here and it is surrounded everywhere by pancreas okay so i'll erase so that you will be able to understand easily this is the second part of duodenum here this black one and this whole whitish one or enhancing one is actually pancreas which is marked by arrow and this is a condition of annular pancreas okay the same can be seen here also that the duodenum is inside and is surrounded everywhere by the pancreas okay so this way we can diagnose annular pancreas you can get image based question of annular pancreas also